Hey guys, what's up? This is Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. I wanted to give you outfielders just a couple tips to help you read fly balls better, okay? Everybody wants better jumps. Everybody wants to get to more balls in the gaps. Make those plays that are going to make you stand out as an outfielder. But how do you actually do that? So the very first simple tip that I have that not a lot of people know about or consciously think about, but it's really going to help you, is looking at the bill of your cap. So as you can see, obviously when you play baseball, you wear a baseball hat, right? And I'm acting like I'm in center field right now okay so what I'm gonna do is you know pre pitch as the pitchers warming up I'm gonna take my right left steps and get into a nice ready position you don't have to have your hands on your knees or anything like that but just a right left get in a ready position and pretend the ball is hit to me okay and whether it's a line drive or a ball hit sky high what you want to focus on and this is something to maybe focus on in BP until you get the hang of it is if you look at the bill of your cap, an easy way to tell if the ball's in front of you on those line drives, it's hard to tell if it's right at you or you gotta come in. An easy way to tell is if the ball is below your cap, if you're looking straight on and the ball is below the bill of your cap, then that means it's not gonna be hit over your head. It's either gonna hit, dir hit directly at you or in. So that means that your first step doesn't have to be a giant step back where you kind of lose ground, okay? I know everybody tells you your first step always has to be back, which is true, but that way you can take your first step back and then immediately sprint in and get a good read on the baseball. So if the ball is below the bill of your cap, chances are you're gonna have to go in to make that play or it's hit right at you, okay? And if it immediately goes above your cap to where you have to lift your head up to see it, then obviously that ball's hit higher and chances are you're gonna have to go backwards to field that ball. So that's a simple tip, nobody really thinks about that, um, but it's really helped my game working on it in BP because those, those line drives hit directly at you are the hardest to tell. And just know that if it's below the bill of your cap, then that means it's gonna be in front of you. So don't be afraid to go up and make a play, okay? So that's tip number one. Tip number two, I already talked about it, first step always has to be back. You don't wanna make your first step uh, something to the side unless you get a really great read on the ball um, and you know it's in the gap or something like that, then you can make a linear movement. But we definitely wanna avoid having our first movement forward and then realizing, oh crap, that ball's hit over my head and then you gotta turn and you lost a step. So to be safe, as outfielders, we don't wanna let the ball get past us. So to be safe, we're gonna take our read steps, the ball's hit, boom, one step back, even if it's in front of you, then you're in a good strong position where you can push off this foot and sprint forward. So uh, the, the last tip that I have for you is professional outfielders, college level, high playing, uh, high level playing outfielders, they learn to adjust. And I think that a lot of times youth outfielders, little league outfielders, high school outfielders, they kind of just sit in the same spot the entire game, just like this. They just sit there, they never make any sort of adjustments. And you have to be thinking about where you're at in the lineup and what the guy did his last at bat if you really want to be in the right positions to make plays. So for example, the leadoff hitter and the, the two hole hitter, they're not going to have as much power as the three, four, five guys. So you can play them in a couple steps. And for example, you know, the three, four, five guys, they're going to have a little bit more pop. So you want to back off and give them a little bit more space. Don't let them hit the ball over your head. Okay, now let's say a leadoff guy has hit, you know, nothing but weak ground balls to uh, second base the entire game. Well then, obviously he's not gonna hit a home run over your head or a shot off the wall, most likely. So what you can do is you can take a couple steps in and you can play him a little bit more towards second base. And that way, if he hits a line drive that way, you're right there. So learn to adjust. And you can work on this in batting practice, okay? See guys' tendencies. See if they're consistently dragging their hands and they're laid on a ball. Or they're really jumpy and they're out front and they're hitting everything to the pole side. Learn from batting practice and then learn how to adjust in games. And all these tips combined are going to make you a much better outfielder. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. Also, get in the comments section below. Let me know what you want me to make future videos about. And as always, if you're not, hit that subscribe button. And when you do that, you'll be notified whenever we release new baseball videos, right? So hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.